Hello everyone, in this uh, lecture we're going to be talking about how to, how does the equilibrium constant changes when you are manipulating the chemical reactions. So when I say manipulating the chemical reactions means uh, if I'm flipping the chemical reaction or the equilibrium reaction or if I'm multiplying the equilibrium reaction with a, a coefficient or if I'm even adding two equilibrium reactions what happened to the equilibrium constant values. So let's take a uh, simple example where I have A plus 2B and then it goes on to make, let's suppose, 3C, just hypothetically here. And then uh, suppose everything here is in the gas form. So I have this equilibrium constant uh, to be KC and I can just call that uh, uh, forward because I'm just going forward in this case now what happens if I flip this reaction so when I say flip this reaction that really means your reactants becomes products and your products becomes reactants so I'm gonna have I'll just duplicate this duplicate that and then just have this one down there so now your reactants becomes products and your products becomes a reactant so what happens to your KC value here, so I'm going to go ahead and write down this KC and I'll probably just say reverse now. So the question is what's going to be the relation between um, this KC forward and KC reverse or another way of saying whenever you're flipping the reaction or flipping the equilibrium how does the KC values relate with one another and obviously you can go ahead and write down all these equilibrium constant expressions so in terms of uh, um, the reactants and products, but you know at the end of the day what's going to happen they are going to be reciprocal of one another. So another way of saying the Kc forward of a reaction is going to be relating with the Kc reverse of that particular equilibrium reaction um, by they are going to be reciprocal of one another so it's going to be Kc reverse. So anytime in a given question you are flipping the reaction and you wonder what the new equilibrium constant going to be all you really got to do is just take the reciprocal of the given equilibrium constant so that's one thing what if you're multiplying something like suppose I'm just kind of go ahead and uh, you know copy this particular equation there suppose I got this equation here and now I have the KC value to be just I'm just going to write down KC here now what happens if I multiply this by 2? So if I multiply everything by 2, or another way of saying I double up the concentrations of reactants and new products, and then all of a sudden I'm going to get 2 A gas plus 4 B gas form, and that's going to be in equilibrium with 6 C gas. So now your KC, I'm going to call that KC1. What happens, or let me say KC new rather. How does this K, new KC is going to be related to the old KC? Your new KC here, or equilibrium constant, is actually going to be equal to the previous KC or the old KC and, uh, mult and to the power of whatever number you have multiplied with. So since you multiply this whole reaction by 2, you just got to go ahead and square this KC. And suppose if you had multiplied this by 3, then you would put 3 in the power. And even if you suppose half all of those reactions, uh, reactants and products, or another way of saying you multiply every single thing here by 0.5 or 1 over 2. So when you do that, then the power is going to be either 0.5 or 1 over 2, which is kind of the same thing as the square root. So the take-home message here is going to be anytime you multiplying the reaction or equilibrium reaction with a given number, that number becomes the power to find the new equilibrium constant. Now, what happens, the last one is what happens when you're adding two equations. So suppose I have one equation where I'm getting A plus B and that's going to be in equilibrium with AB and I got KC1 here for that particular one 
and I'm just going to assume everything is in the gas phase here. And then I get another equation where I'm using the AB gas plus B, and that goes on to make an AB2 in the gas form. And this particular KC is going to be KC2. Now if I go ahead and add these two reactions up, 1 and 2, so it's different than what you really see in the Hess's law. When you add up two reactions in Hess's law, your overall delta H or delta G in that particular case just gets added up. Now in this case, when I'm adding up, so I remember this AB is just going to be common on both sides, so you can also call that intermediate. That's just going to cancel out, so what's left behind is A gas plus 2B gas, because you got two uh, Bs there, and then we have AB2 gas, and then this new KC here, for this particular equation, is going to be equal to the multiplication, so it's going to be KC1 times the KC2. So whatever reactions you are multiplying in there, that's going to be that's going to give you the new KC. So remember, it's going to be different than the delta H's and delta G's. In delta H and delta G, you actually add those up, but in this, in the equilibrium constant cases, you will be multiplying the equilibrium constant values whenever you're going to be adding two equations. So these are the three most common manipulations you're going to be seeing in a given reaction. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave any comments in the section below.